Hi, I'm Mike Kelly. I've uh, been with the Winter Skills Adventure Program for a long time and have absolutely enjoyed it. Great program. Uh, we learn a lot ourselves by presenting things to our students. So I hope you enjoy all of our lectures. I want to talk for a minute about snowshoes. So the basic design of the snowshoe has been around for a couple hundred years. It's basically a frame and it's some kind of a base that will support uh, your weight on the snow. In the old days the frames were made out of some type of wood. Uh, in the early days they were, they were made out of uh, willows and things like that with rawhide uh, strapping going across and then finally we got to oak frame with rawhide. But Pretty much now we've settled on high strength aluminum frame with a neoprene type platform base. The one thing that's changed an awful lot is this gripper on the bottom. And this is so important in the Northwest because uh, we get so much uh, freezing and thawing that the uh, we get icy layers and you need this type of traction when you're going up hills and that type of thing. The, uh, the basic uh, harness hasn't changed a lot either. It's pretty much just something to hold your foot in with a strap around the back. So the proper way to get into a snowshoe is to put your boot all the way in and then you tighten up this part of the snowshoe across your toe you pull this up on your heel just above where the, the heel meets the welt of the boot and then you, you tighten this up so the strap uh, stays, stays tight around your heel. This will allow you all this movement through the, uh, the range of, of motion of the uh, snowshoe. So let's talk for a second about then once you're into your snowshoes how do you uh, how do you want to use them to hike? Please pair them up with a, a ski pole with a basket that's large enough to where it won't plunge through the snow when you when you're hiking. Your snowshoe should be your your pole should be about the height where when you grab a hold of it just under the basket that your arm is about 90 degrees. If you're uh, uh, long striding or in deeper snow you might lengthen them out so that's slightly longer. You put your hand through here and you're ready to go. When you snowshoe for long distances get a nice comfortable even stride going. Don't speed up and slow down just have an easy going pace that you can stay with for a long time. If you're snowshoeing in a group, what we do is the person takes off that's leading through the snow and that person is breaking a new trail, they'll tire out quicker. So that person steps to the right and the second person moves forward and uh, they break trail and then after everybody has passed, the person who was breaking trail drops in the back and you continue to do that so you don't wear out uh, the person that's leading. If you get to a hillside that you can, uh, that's too steep for you to go up and maintain traction, what you do is you kick your heel back, kick your foot back, ram this toe in into the snow and then you step down on your snowshoe. So in effect you're building stairs as you go. And if you're going up a side hill, say the side hill's to the right, you move your heel over onto this rail and you press down on the inside of the rail, which will allow you then to go up the hill without, uh, without slipping. So I hope that information is helpful. Uh, you will need, uh, need snowshoes for a trip we're going to go on, but also these can be used for a lot of other things that you do with your family when you uh, get out during the winter. So uh, happy camping, happy snowshoeing.